going hard, fully charged. I adapt. Got everything to lose, so I refuse to go and cap. My life a f movie, dog, but this here ain't no act. Man, all the pressure on me should have broke my f back. I'm still going, still going, still flowing, still flowing, still growing, still growing, still going, still going, still flowing, still flowing, still growing, still growing. All the pressure on me should have broke my f back. Yo, yo, what up? What's good? Hey, we back with another video. I oh, did not mean to stream. Today we're gonna be watching this Slim Shady versus Marshall Mathers. Fade the face off. The face off. So after the album, we get the face off. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna, uh, let me see. All right, make sure you join the Patreon. Um, uh, we've been we was trying to upload a few things, wasn't allowed to, so we gotta upload something straight to the Patreon because mm -hmm. y'all know how YouTube does us. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh, make sure you join the Patreon so you don't miss out on nothing. Yeah. Everything you know what I'm saying we do, they get blocked or whatever, it's gonna be in the Patreon. Yeah. All right, the rest of the album is in the Patreon. Mm -hmm. um, so. Go ahead, sign up, yeah. all right? Some of those songs that y'all been waiting on in the Patreon right now, we just can't release on the uh, YouTube right now just because we've been getting hit, so. Yeah, yeah. make us double, triple edit, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. take stuff out, and it's just, it's just tiring, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, so yeah, go to Patreon. All right, let's get into it. Warning, this video contains scenes of graphic immaturity and brutal depictions of self-deprecation. Views who are too blah, 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 to listen to the devil's <laughs> shady coup de grace in its intended sequential order are advised to exercise extreme caution as the content is not for the weak and squeamish. For those who decide to continue watching, please consider this a warning that every one of your traumas is about to be triggered. Good night mm -hmm. and good luck, Slim mm -hmm. Shady. Mm -hmm. The coup de gras, the whole coup de gras the thing real quick it just it, it makes me question because you know the meaning of that word is to take somebody like pretty much take some relieve somebody of their suffering mm -hmm. like if some like if you see an animal suffering you just going in you know what i mean to stop the suffering you yeah. know what i'm saying so my whole thing is who's suffering is it slim shady or m Who's getting the coup de gras? Who who's you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, yeah. Cause the coup de gras I mean I'm I'm taking you out of your misery. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So who's taking who out of their misery? Who's it miserable? Mm. Slim is Slim miserable or is Marshall been miserable? Like Yeah. Who's been taken out of their misery? That's the question. Guess who's back? What the fuck? Back again. <laughs> you turn it off. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? That was the perfect reaction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way. Good night and good luck. Good night and good luck. Detroit Multiverse. Our source, our source. Guess who's back? What the fuck? Back again. Really? <laughs> Shady's back. This guy. <laughs> Tell a friend. You gonna sing the whole song? Guess who's back? Ha! My name is Chicka 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 Slim Shady. We know who you are, bro. <laughs> bro, cool story. But you know why I am. Huh? I'm back because you got your nuts tucked so tightly between your legs, fucking Caitlyn Jenner would be jealous. Dang. And we ain't going out like that! <laughs> what the fuck do you even mean? Marshall, this is an intervention. Hey, y'all Slim Shady come through dropping bars. Already. Already. This shit is crazy. This is... Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. I this, like this. Yeah, this is dope. In the Detroit multiverse. Yes. Then Dre, Jimmy, and Paul told me you wanted to put out some sort of comeback album and send up the fucking bat signal. Flying back, then and then and then and then and then it. Would you think it was just some sort of coincidence that I popped through that fucking portal and dropped through the in your poof? All of a sudden, magically Eminem's back on top. This motherfucker, man. Yup. I've been sent from the past to save our career. To save my career. My 25 year career. 
Where shit. I sold like a billion albums. I think I'm doing pretty fucking fine. We sold all that all right. shit off my yeah. back, bitch. Don't get it twisted. Well, for me, you still be wearing that same damn Nike Air hat. <laughs> You're not fucking Taylor Swift. With one era that mattered, mine. Everything that people think of when they think of Eminem is fucking yours truly. From the blonde hair to the middle finger to the fucking jokes, all of it, me. Real quick, let me just say shout out to the writer, whoever wrote the script for this. Because this shit is, man, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Already, dog. That same there Nike Air hat bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that uh that callback was genius. Who, who wrote it? Marshall or Slim? Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who wrote it? Marshall wrote or Slim? It. Facts. And if we're being honest, the music that you've been dropping since I bounced ain't it. Like, for real? When I heard your last shit, I thought that shit was fucking AI. Yeah. Really? So <laughs> a computer can write right. Look not? on his face. Look, man. No one gives a fuck about your lyrical miracles. You're scaring the hoes. People want to be entertained. So you think it's entertaining to just be a dickhead and piss people off? Look, man, I've grown up, bro. My fan base has grown up. The world's changed. Fucking people are way more sensitive now. Every other week on TikTok, Gen Z discovers you on Monday and cancels me on Tuesday. Say it with me now, Marshall. I... They discover you on Monday and cancel me yeah, on Tuesday. Tuesday. That's a bar. That's a bar. Gen Z, like, because what he's basically saying is a lot of his old music that you could get away with back in the day, back in our days. It gets pulled you, up. You, you, you get canceled for some of that shit nowadays. It's a lot of stuff that we watched back in the days and the music that, that we listen to. A lot of that stuff wouldn't make it today. It wouldn't. Hell, honestly... Dog, real logic. The real logic show I did wouldn't make it today. Yeah, they'd be on. Yeah, they'd be on your ass about that. On some of that on, shit. On some of those topics. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's just keeping it all the way funky. Yeah, yeah. Just don't give a fuck. Of course you don't. Cause you're a fucking cartoon character. <laughs> you're like fucking Cartman, Family Guy. It's like you can't be canceled. Look, slut, it's better to get canceled saying shit that everyone's thinking but scared to say than it is getting canceled for some bullshit ass bars. Fuck you. Mm. Bullshit ass bars. Look, man. Oh, what? that made Marshall hot, Fuck boy. You. Yeah, right, man. Right. Boy, you can't you can't talk me about no bullshit bars, Thanks. now. You don't, you don't touch the nerve right now. Yup. Did you text me after awfully hot coffee? Oh, bullshit ass bars. Look, man. Did you text me after awfully hot coffee pot or not? <laughs> yeah, I did. And what did I tell you? You said, um, you said, like, I could never, like, let you down. Well, I fucking lied to your bitch ass. <laughs> Nothing without me. Are awfully you fucking kidding me? Pot. Before I stepped in, you fucking rapped like AZ on Prozac. Hey, bitch, I wrote Stan. They ain't love the way you lie. And. That's funny. Hey, he wrote Stan. You can't. You uh, can't top Stan. Can't argue that. You cannot beat Stan. Can't beat. You can't. You can't beat Stan. You can't beat Not Afraid. You can't beat Lose Yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't beat those. Those are amazing songs. You can't beat those. <laughs> Did you text me after awfully hot coffee pies? <laughs> Bullshit bars, dog. <laughs> That was funny. Are you fucking kidding me? Before I stepped in, you fucking rapped like AZ on Prozac. <laughs> Bitch, I... Shout out to Infinite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which to me was more like nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and AZ. You can, yeah, yeah. But shoot, who AZ get it from? Yeah. Nas. Nas. You know yep. what I'm saying? The Nas influence. Yeah, the Nas influence. This was a heavy Nas influence. Yep. So, um, it, but from, from Infinite to... You... you, mm -hmm. you Tell the switch up from Infinite to uh, the first Marshall Mathers on um, LP. Yep. Yep. Fucking kidding me? Before I stepped in, you fucking rapped like AZ on Prozac. <laughs> Bitch, I wrote Stan. Bitch, I wrote Stan. And love the way you lie. And love the way and you lie. Love the way you lie. Congratulations. You wrote the fucking national anthem for stalkers and domestic abusers. Can we get this guy a glad award or some Yo, shit? Yo, I don't gotta sit here and take this from the motherfucker who wrote fact. I didn't write fact. Uh, you wrote fact. No, you wrote fact. Well, 
wasn't me, bro. That won't take blood. In that fact, won't take credit. If we'd have called it Richard Gear, like I said to call it, that shit would have went diamond. Uh, First of all, we couldn't have called it Richard Gear because we'd have got sued. Second of all, you put it on the greatest hits album, so it kind of is diamond. You're welcome. Not only do we make one of the worst songs ever, but we put it on the greatest hits album. Not only do we put it on the greatest hits album. We made it the first song on the Greatest Hits album. If that don't take balls, what the fuck does? Caitlyn Jenner. Yo, you think everything's a fucking joke? You even understand how fucking... If that don't take, take balls, balls, what, what the, the fuck, fuck does? does? Caitlyn Jenner. Bars. Bars. <laughs> bars! There's bars in the face off! Bars in the dialogue. That's crazy. Hard out work to get us here, man. Serious question. When did you start self-identifying as a little bitch? <laughs> oh, pronoun joke. Bro, you're so fucking cringe, man. Cringe? What the fuck is cringe? Don't fucking say that shit to me. Man, shut the fuck up. Yo, I got a question. If you're the fucking new me, why you so fucking old? First of all, I'm not that fucking old. Second of all, I grew a fucking beard. Third of all, <laughs> Eat a fucking fat dick. Oh, really? What are you gonna do, pussy? Fucking freestyle me to death? Fucking battle rap me? Yeah, that'd be a change of pace, right? When's the last time you fucking took a shot at somebody who wasn't a fucking pop star, a fucking non-rapping celebrity, fucking marginalized communities? Fucking say that to me again. Marginalized what? The fuck you say? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Using big words around me, you motherfucker? Yeah. Fucking say that shit to me. Yo, are you just like... Allergic to not being an asshole? Yo, I forgot I even had those shoes. Let's talk about the people you dissed. Fucking lyrical titans. Fucking Ja Rule. Fucking lyrical Moby. Mm -hmm. Fucking Fred Durst. Who else? Christina Aguilera? Who's really punching down? Man, who hurt you? Who hurt? What, who the fuck is this guy? Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean who hurt me? I got hurt, man. Everybody hurt me. My mom hurt me. Fucking world hurt me, dawg. Caitlyn Jenner's a man bitch. Bro, what the fuck? You can't say that. She got tits and a dick. What is... It's fucking 2024, man. <laughs> Let people live their lives. This shit ain't got nothing to do with you. It's not that fucking hard. Just respect whatever people want to be called and keep it moving. Also, what's your fucking weird obsession with Christopher Reeve? Christopher Reeve with Superman. What are you talking about? I'm trying to pay homage. Real quick. Listen, man. We know y'all like our reaction videos, but we need y'all support. If you please go to Tubi, mm. it's free, right? It's free. It's free to download the Tubi app on any uh, smart TV, uh, Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, whatever you want to do. Go to go to download Tubi, T-U-B-I, and watch the bottom. Do that for us. The bottom is a series that we wrote, produced created and it's based off Eminem's song Rock Bottom and when you watch the show you can kind of see little bits and pieces throughout and when you listen and you hear the dialogue we actually got some bars in there and you'll hear some of the bars from Rock Bottom like what's one of the ones yeah you, what you said uh I got problems <laughs> everybody on the block got them yeah y'all remember that <laughs> y'all remember M said that in, in, in the song if I got problems everybody yeah, on, on the, the block, block got them he said that in one of his lines as a you know so his character so got a lot of Easter eggs got a that. lot of Easter that's what I was gonna say go watch all four episodes of the bottom and then come leave us the Easter eggs that you found in the comments all right. You sorry. Tell it to my wife and kid, motherfucker. Where is the supportive wife that I married, huh? Uh -uh. No. Where's my ride or die? Where is she? She's fucking exhausted. I know you ain't gonna take this time away from me like that. Answer this fucking phone. Good with you. you. Good? Nah, man, I'm actually shooting bad, man. Was hoping you could lend me a little something, man.
If I got problems, everybody on the block got them. Know that. And then that nigga go right there. Yeah, that's them niggas. Check me. It's funny, cause he was fucking Superman. He fell off a horse. But how was that funny, bro? Mm -hmm. It's not funny. The guy. Not the horse ad libs. With the horse and the ad libs. He was fucking Superman. He fell off a horse. But how was that funny, bro? It's not funny. The guy fucking fell off a horse. Yeah, he's dead. He's been dead for twenty fucking years, man. Leave him alone. Whatever. And you know it's not Reeves, right? There's no S on it. It's just Reeves. Then why is there an S on his chest? I don't know fucking pronouns, bro. I don't know. Whatever, Tipper Gore. <laughs> Tipper Gore. Even your fucking references are dated. My references? You still use a fucking flip phone. Robert Van Winkle? I mean, Rip Van Winkle? <laughs> Whatever. Ice, Ooh. ice, baby. Vanilla ice joke. There it is. Never heard that before. All right, stop. <laughs> ice, ice, shit. <laughs> Good vanilla ice Hit joke. Him with the I am it was also a man Whatever out of time and a beer is. joke. But whatever. I don't expect you to get my chip on Tondras. Anyways, talk all this shit about how the world's different. I expect you to get my chipple on Tondras. Anyways, talk all this shit about how the. He said chipple on Tondras. Chipple on Tondras. He said triple on Tondras. Hey, it would be a chipple on Tondras to Slim. Facts. He got a chip on his shoulder. Facts. The triple would be the chip. Facts. I don't expect you to get my chipple on Tondras. Anyways, talk all this shit about how the world's different or whatever, but all I hear is that you're scared. And the truth is, the people still want me. Bro, you're just doing the same shit you always do. Make the fucking single fake controversial without really offending anyone, and then put all the fucked up shit on the deep cut so that people talk about the album after it drops. Then when they get offended, you get on your poor me victim shit, and act all fucking self-righteous. Wah, everyone's fucking against me. Mr. I don't give a fuck who gives more fucks than the fucking history of fucks that were ever fucking given. Damn. I don't give a fuck. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mister, I don't give a fuck that gives more fucks, fucks in the history of fucks, fucks given. Than fucks given, you know what I'm saying? Because most people who go around saying they don't give a fuck are really the ones who give yeah, a fuck the most. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For you to say you don't give a fuck out loud, yeah. you really give a fuck. Yeah. 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 You really do. Yeah. If we're ever fucking given, I don't give a fuck. Mostly. 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 That's not what I do. It's fucking tired, man. Remember we made you? You almost fucking killed our career with that one. Are you fucking kidding me? No one told you. That's not what I do. It's fucking tired, man. Remember we made you? You almost fucking killed our career with that one. Are you fucking kidding me? No one told a retarded ass to go record an entire album in fucking accents. <laughs> fucking great, man. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I had to relearn how to rap. And for fucking what it's worth, there's an entire generation of people who think that's a fucking classic. I wouldn't call that relearning the rap. That shit was a frisbee, bro. Then he went on a fucking apology tour for like 12 months after that. And then I made our biggest radio record ever without you. You don't get it, do you? You were literally born while I was taking a shit. I invented you because my life was fucked up. My music was going nowhere and I was broke. Exactly. But you didn't fix anything. You actually made that shit worse. I couldn't even take a shit in the bathroom without someone standing by it. You're the reason I had to self-medicate. Because you almost lost my fucking career, my fucking family, my life. Because you almost lost my fucking career, my fucking... Gin and juice. Apricot. Is that his joint? Parental advisory. But, uh, by who and Snoop? Mm -hmm. My dad's in snow. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's what they say. Yo. Infect family, my life. I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Bro, I'm 16 years sober. What the fuck? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lay back. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
like singing. Gin and juice, little gin and juice. Lay back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Yeah, that was a good. That was good. It's a good promo. Mm-hmm. Lay back. Life's been great since you've been gone. Lay back. Duh. You make me fucking sick. I fucking hate white people. Your car. Can we get out of here? Oh, look who gives a fuck now. It ain't my fault you got no fucking self-discipline. It's like all these fat people. It's everyone else's fault but yours. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? First of all, you know that substance abuse has nothing to do with discipline, right? Second of all, the shit you said about overweight people is dated. We cured fatness. There's literally a shot for it. It's very popular. I hear it's got side effects of jealousy. Why are you so mad yeah. about fucking body positivity? Why are you so mad about... <laughs> You yeah, heard he's got his guy inside the face of jealousy. He's in the Drake, mm-hmm. no Olympic yep. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And side effects of jealousy. Why are you so mad about fucking body positivity? Why are you so mad about body positivity? What the fuck is body positivity? Like people feeling okay with their bodies. Oh, you mean fat power? Okay. BBL Slizzy. Shut. BBL what? BBL Slizzy. BBL Not Slizzy. BBL Drizzy, but BBL Slizzy. That's funny. Power. Okay. BBL Slizzy. BBL what? What the fuck are you trying to say? I ran 17 fucking miles a day to get us back in shape, fat boy. You're a fucking mess, bro. MGK fucked your mother. He did. But she's your mother, too, so... <laughs> Yo, you really need some help, man. Dude, you know what? She's both of our mothers. <laughs> She's both of you our know mothers. What? You just said that. Yeah. Calm That's down, Slim. Yeah. We both made him and him. He's the best of both of us. And really, <clears throat> it's not about me or you. It's about him and the fans. Mm-hmm. Damn. I don't even want to fucking admit it. But your bitch ass is right. Dude, don't stress yeah. out, man. I've done a lot of work on myself while you were gone. We're in this together, baby. Let the therapy flow through you. My bad, dog. I just, I sometimes get triggered, man. It's like, I'm obviously this rack with imposter syndrome, overcompensating with misplaced aggression. I needed this trauma bonding shit to fucking help me protect my peace. Was that some Kendrick reverence? No one understands how fucking toxic it is to always be the bad guy. Don't be so hard on yourself, Snowflake. You're not the bad guy. <laughs> I'm not? Nah, bro. I mean, we all know you mean well. There'll probably be people picketing outside of our house for the next fucking six months, but other than that, I mean... My, my bad, dog. I appreciate you, Marshall. I appreciate you too, bro. It's all good, man. <laughs> Look at us. Hey, look at us. Who'd have thought? Not me. <laughs> the fuck? That's funny. I wish I could have produced some shit like that. Yeah, facts. This that was that was brilliant. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, you you got so first we got the album, and then we get a face off mm-hmm. that kind of uh, mimics the album mm-hmm. uh, of what the dialogue is in imminent in Marshall's head yeah. as he battles with Slim Shade. Yeah. So we got to see the dialogue that goes in his head like before like before he goes into the like before he goes to record an album. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what he what his next move is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so I like, we got to see that inner struggle. Yep. I like what he said. I like what Marshall said to Slim too. He said like we in this together, man. We made Eminem. Yeah, he's the best of both of us. Both of us. I, I love that. That shit was cold. That, yeah, he's the best. He yeah, Eminem is the best of Marshall both. and Slim. And, and Slim, facts. I facts. love. I love how he put that. So it's like, with that being said, 
How can he kill them all? You got to give us an Eminem album. And that that Slim Shady versus uh, Marshall Mathers. It said Slim Shady versus Marshall Mathers face off. Mm -hmm. Usually you get the face off before mm -hmm. the battle. Yeah. Well, before you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Before the fight. Before yeah. The, so do we have another battle coming? Do we uh, have another record coming? I mean, the way, gonna, is this, it, are we are we going to have a Slim Shady versus Marshall Mathers album? Yo. Because the face-off comes before the event. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So Slim Shady going to goddamn come back from, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I, that mm -hmm. was a motherfucking dream. Yep. Yep. Guess who's back? Back Man. again. Guess who's back? Hey, that was good, dog. That was good. I enjoyed that. Was that. Very creative. Very creative. Uh, I enjoyed that. Kudos to the... Uh, Production team, mm -hmm, the editors, yeah, because that was some great uh, AI. Yeah, great AI. Shout out to Marshall too for we uh, we know how hard it is to act with nobody there. Yeah, facts. That's tough. He killed that. You got to have your reactions on point. He killed that. He killed that. Yeah, he's yeah. literally talking to nobody. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit was fire. That was fire. Uh, so what do y'all think? Do we have another? Slim versus uh Marshall Atham Marshall Atham coming. Mm-hmm. And um let us know. Yeah, let us know. She so joined the Patreon. Yeah. Alright, we'll see y'all on the next catch one. Catch the bottom on Tubi. Yes, please go catch the bottom on Tubi. For free. <laughs>